The field of deep learning is expanding rapidly. From image classification to automated driving, at the heart of these deep learning algorithms are neural networks. Developers need a strong set of libraries to research, write, and deploy complex programs that will save them time. Before you start building your own neural networks, consider which open source library is right for the job. PyTorch and TensorFlow are among the most popular frameworks in deep learning. PyTorch was released by Facebook and was intended to be used in the Python learning ecosystem. However, it does have a C++ front-end to enable work in non-friendly Python environments. TensorFlow has been around a bit longer. Started in 2015 and was developed at Google, TensorFlow offers greater flexibility to work with other programming languages. Among its many capabilities is Keras API for TensorFlow in Python. The Keras interface offers ready-made building blocks that are easy to use regardless of your experience. Developers rely on complex computational graphs that create these algorithms that solve complex problems. TensorFlow requires you to outline the entire structure and type the data before you run it. Because of its rigid start, this means that the graph cannot be modified after compilation. PyTorch, however, is so flexible that you can alter the inputs and the graph itself during the runtime. This eager execution function offers programmers better access to the inner workings of the network which makes debugging code easier. Now that your model is crunching the data, visualization will help you observe its behavior. TensorBoard allows you to observe your training parameters over time through summaries of the network at intervals you define. This is extremely valuable for debugging. PyTorch does not have a native visualization feature, but there are Python tools like Matplotlib and Seaborn. Now that you've trained your neural network, which library is best for deployment? TensorFlow has more to offer with TensorFlow Serving, which updates your model on servers, and TensorFlow Lite, which allows you to compress your model for mobile devices. Deployment has not been PyTorch's strong suit. In fact, PyTorch released TorchServe in 2020 for model deployment. It's been said that imitation is the best form of flattery. This may explain why both PyTorch and TensorFlow have been integrating new tools based on each other's framework. But each library has its own area of expertise. PyTorch is the preferred deep learning library for researchers. Its ease of use and eager execution mode for quick debugging is ideal if you are already a Python programmer. TensorFlow's extensions for deployment on servers and mobile devices, as well as its visualization features, make this a preferred choice for large-scale deep learning models. Both are free, open-source tools. Bottom line, the best tool for you is the one that helps you get the job done.